Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about using Google Chrome. My most recent video, I talked about using Gmail. If you missed that, I will link it in the description box below. But I figured I would kind of keep on this Google train and talk about a very popular web browser. I wanna talk about some amazing features that Google Chrome has to hopefully make browsing the web a little bit easier for you. I will leave a list of topics I'll be covering today in the description box along with their timestamps if you wanna skip around to anything. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna go through is how to download Google Chrome if you don't already have it. I personally believe Google Chrome is the best web browser. If you have one you like better, please let me know in the comments, but I personally love it. So if you don't already have it, let's go through how you can actually download it onto your computer or onto your phone. So with whatever web browser you're currently using, I have Safari pulled up here. You're just gonna search for Google Chrome and it's gonna be the first one that pops up. Click download Chrome today and you'll just have to click download Chrome and it'll take you through the steps just like a normal download would. And then you should have it on your computer. It's the same thing if you wanna do it from your phone, you just open Safari or whatever browser you have, search for Google Chrome and then click download Chrome. So once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. And I obviously have been using it a lot, so I have a bunch of bookmarks and some recently visited websites, which you'll start to see once you use Google Chrome more. But if you wanna set Google Chrome as your default web browser, once it's open, you go up here to the top right corner with these three dots. You go to settings, and then in appearance on the left-hand side, if you scroll down a little bit, you can select to make Google Chrome your default browser. And mine already is, so it just says here, Google Chrome is your default browser, but that's how you switch it if maybe you're on a Mac and it automatically makes Safari your default. This is how you can change that if you wanna use Chrome instead. You can actually do a lot of customization in this section, which I really like. So one of the biggest things that I like is this show bookmarks bar right here. You can actually toggle this off and you can see what happens to my bookmarks bar. It goes away. So it gives it kind of just like a cleaner look. I'm somebody who bookmarks pages all the time to come back to things. So I would have a ton of bookmarks up there all the time. So I kind of like it to be off. And then if you wanna see the bookmarks you have, if you don't have that tab on the top, you just go back to these three dots and hover over bookmarks and it will show you the bookmarked pages that you have. You can also add a home button with this toggle right here. And as you can see, this little house just popped up. That's what it looks like when it's off. And it will give you the option to either enter a custom web address. If you have a website that you visit every single day, maybe like your Gmail and you wanna make that your home, if you just click on the house, it will take you to either a new tab page if that's selected or a custom web address if that's what you choose. In this section, you can also do a bunch of things to make viewing Google Chrome easier and more custom to you. One of those things being font size. So you can do medium, which is just their recommended size, but also you can do large or very large. If you have difficulty seeing a screen, you can change that as well. You can customize your fonts, which is nice if you want to you know, make a bold font, you can do that. You can also customize how zoomed in you want pages to be. So it's obviously gonna default to 100% just to fit the screen, but you can make it bigger if you want, and that's what something's gonna look like. If you do wanna zoom in on a screen without having to change your whole default setting, what you can do is actually click Command and then plus to zoom in and then minus to zoom out. You can also go to view and zoom in or zoom out as well. You can also change your Chrome theme. So you can see that right here. If we click on it, it's gonna take us to a new tab. But here are all the theme options that you can choose from and there are a lot. So let's just say for example, I wanted to choose um, this ocean theme right here. So if you wanna use it, you just click add to Chrome and I'll open a new tab and show you what it looks like. So now this is what your Chrome would look like. And if you decide that you actually didn't like that, 
You can just go back here and then see where it says installed theme ocean. You can click undo. You can also search for themes if you want something specific like a picture of your hometown or something like that. You can search the Google Chrome store for that theme. If you're looking to change your Google Chrome to dark mode, you actually have to do that through your computer settings, not through Google Chrome. So if you wanna do that, you'll just have to go to your settings or your system preferences on your computer. And if you don't know where to find that, you can actually just search for it up at the top here. You can say system preferences, click on it. And on a Mac, you just go to general, and then at the top here, appearance, dark mode is one of the first options. So this is what dark mode looks like. It's definitely a lot easier on the eyes than the bright white light. So that's how you change it, but full transparency, not every website is going to have dark mode. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly switch us back to light mode. And now I wanna talk about everything you can do with your tabs on Google Chrome because there are a ton of ways you can customize your tabs that make browsing a lot easier that I personally love. The first thing I wanna talk about is tab grouping. So let's just say for your job, you have to do a lot of research and you have like 30 tabs open in one browsing window. You can actually change that by selecting the shift key and clicking on tabs that you want to select. And as you can see now, these three that are the lighter colors are selected. And if I right click on them, I can click add tabs to new group and I can name this group one. You can also change the color of them. And now if I click group one, it's gonna collapse all of my tabs. So you can keep all of your tabs in. So maybe you're searching for coffee tables and you have like six coffee tables you like. You can group those together and then if you just click on the group, it will expand the tabs. So it just keeps things a little bit more organized. And if you want to take a tab out of the group, you can just click and drag it out and see how it's no longer in the blue bubble, which means it's not in the group anymore. You can also click and drag tabs into the group. So now that they're in blue, that means they're in the group. And if you wanna select tabs that are not next to each other, if you hold down the command key, you can select tabs that aren't next to each other, see how we bypassed this one in the middle here. If I had clicked shift and clicked this tab, they would have all been highlighted. But since I just clicked command, I can select specific tabs to use and I can drag those into my group if I wanted to. Another thing you may have noticed if you've been using Chrome is the autofill feature. So for example, if you're buying something online and you type in your name, it will autofill your whole address and maybe your credit card information as well. So maybe you moved and Google Chrome keeps autofilling your old address. That can be super annoying or if you got a new credit card and you don't want your old card to be autofilled. The way you can fix that is by going up here to the three dots again and going back to settings. And as you can see here, autofill is the second section. So, you know, let's just do addresses as an example. If we click on that, any address that you've used in the past will be in this section. So you can turn off autofill completely by just toggling that off if you don't like it. You can also add an address or edit an existing one. So, you know, let's just say I wanted to change this to 1235 Example Street, I can save it. Or you can just simply remove an old autofilled address if you're not gonna be using that address anymore. And the same thing goes with credit cards and passwords as well. The next thing I wanna talk about isn't necessarily a browsing feature, but it's something that could be really helpful, and that is casting your screen onto your TV. Now, to do this, you will need a device like an Apple TV, a Fire Stick, a Google Chromecast, something like that. And if you have any of those, and you go up here to the three dots, and go down to Cast, if you click Cast, any device that you have that supports Chromecast will show up here. And if you click on it, if your device is on, you can actually cast either your tab, your entire desktop, or a file, which can be super helpful if you're sharing something with a big group. Instead of having people huddle around your computer, you can put it up on a big screen. I also want to mention these two icons right here. Now, you might not see these right away if you're brand new to Chrome, but the puzzle piece houses any extensions that you might have through your Google Chrome, 
And this is music videos and more. So let's start by talking about the extensions. I have a couple extensions right here. As you can see, the ones I have pinned are in blue and they show up right on my home screen. But say I don't want them there anymore, like maybe I don't need Screencastify anymore, I can unpin it and now it's no longer on my home screen. Or if I really don't want it at all, if I'm completely getting rid of it, I can manage my extensions and scroll all the way down and remove that extension. Now, as far as this little music note here goes, this is gonna control any music or videos coming from your Google Chrome. So that's why I have this Taylor Swift video pulled up here. If I click on it, I have the option to click play, to fast forward, to rewind, and I'm just gonna click play on it really quickly. And now, as you can see, there's this little speaker symbol right here, which means that tab is the one playing music. So if a sound is coming from your computer and you cannot figure out where it's coming from, look at your tabs and see if any of them have this icon, and likely that's the one that's playing music. If you right click on it, you can mute it if you want, or if you go here, you can just click pause, and it will stop playing that music. As you can see, the little icon went away. So that is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. If you have any other videos that you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.